Lakeside Dental Clinic, Go Island, is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic. February is Black History Month across Canada, and today we're celebrating with the Nanaimo African Heritage Society for the launch of all the celebrations taking place this month. Gabby dominating in a traditionally male sport. Raji explores Saturna Island history and Todd and Derek take aim in a game of darts. Before we get into all of the details of all of the festivities that are taking place for Black History Month 2015 here in Nanaimo and a look into the reason why it started in the first place, we're going to throw things over to Kelly Robinson. Gabby from John Barsby is making quite a name for herself in what is usually considered to be a male dominated sport. Nanaimo Mayor Bill McKay will officially kick off Black History Month a little bit later on in this show, but this is Mr. Paul Wynn. He's a member of the Nanaimo African Heritage Society. And as I've become to uh, know over the last little while in meeting Paul, very knowledgeable about the history of black history, not only in our province and our town, but in our country. So with that, what is the history of Black History Month? Okay, let, let, me, let me start at the very beginning. Okay. It was originally Negro History Week, and it was just for one week in, in 1926, in February. And it started because February the 12th was Abraham Lincoln's birthday. February the 14th was uh, Frederick Douglass's birthday. He was a black abolitionist. And so that's why they sent it around there. Then in the 60s, it, it became Black History Month. I used to always joke, and it's the shortest month of the year, that's why they gave it to us, but that, that's just a little complaint to mine. Uh -huh. Anyhow, um, then, then in 1995, the Parliament of um, Canada declared it Black History Month, and, uh, and it passed, and then I think it was either a year or 18 months later, the Senate approved it, so then it became a, a, a holiday in, in Canada. Well, not so much a national holiday, but mm -hmm. a recognized event across Canada. And, that and the objective of the month is to, I mean, I'm still, I'm still, I would like to see a time and a place where we don't need a month that, I mean, does the month segregate us as people? Do, I'm still getting... Yeah, it has, it has that, it can have that effect. Right. You know, because not all, all Africans are black, as you can appreciate. You know, like, maybe at one point that might have been the case, but right. it's not. I mean, you made a comment, there's some children here that were born in Africa, and yeah. you made a comment that those children are probably more African yeah. than, than me, some of them. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Because, but what but, uh, but I was thinking of was the, these, the people when, that started was because th there was segregation, there was racism, there was uh, all kind of misconceptions about the intellectual ability, the mm. skills and talents of, of black people. So this was, the start was one way to get it out front and so that it was a combination to combat the negativism that was out there in the society at the time and you're right it, it's, it's not so great anymore so but did it accomplish then i think it accomplished a lot i think it do? accomplished a lot i mean you, you take a look at uh people like michelle jean who was the you know left the governor, governor yeah. general mm -hmm. i mean that probably would never happen 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. She would have, A, as a woman, she would have been overlooked anyhow, but right. being a black woman, she would have been overlooked twice as hard. Right, and then you can so, look down to the face, Barack Obama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and so, so you have to, you know, I think that we have made steps in, in the sort of race relations field, but I think it's still important for young kids who, who need to know that they have ancestors who contributed to the building and the development of Canada. Because mm -hmm. I, I look at it as Canadian history. It right. just happens to be the black part. Well, we could do Scots or we could do the Irish or the French mm -hmm. or anything else. But I, I just think it's important to, to continue it. But from a point of view of informing people, educating people about mm -hmm. you know a, a group in the society. So they say, oh, I never knew that. I never knew. And then fine, then next year, because other countries have Irish month, Portuguese month. They have, I mean, it's no, you know, we're not the only ones, but right. we make the biggest noise, I guess. That, well, that's, that's what it does. And so, and so you should. <laughs> okay. so, so you should. We are going to look into the youth aspect and what it means for a young man of African heritage to know 
from where he comes and what his own story is. We're going to continue celebrating Black History Month not only for the rest of February, but for the rest of this edition of Go Island after a short break. Still to come today, visiting the lighthouse on Saturna Island, a new era for the Cowichan Theater in Duncan, and Todd and Derek aim for the bullseye. Hi, my name is Shaney Jackson, and I'm with the Vancouver Islands Marmot Recovery Project. Did you know that the groundhog is actually a type of marmot? Marmots are ground squirrels. And we don't have any groundhogs on Vancouver Island, but we do have a very special type of marmot. This marmot is called the Vancouver Island Marmot. And Vancouver Island is the only place on the planet where you can see this species. Unlike the groundhog, the Vancouver Island Marmot is highly social and very fun to watch. Now, therefore, I, Bill McKay, Mayor of City of Nanaimo, do hereby pro proclaim that the month of February 2015 be known as Black History Month in the City of Nanaimo. Thank you. And that is the official declaration by Nanaimo Mayor Bill McKay declaring that February is Black History Month in Nanaimo. We just want to let you know about a roundtable discussion that is going to be put together in partnership with the Nanaimo African Heritage Society as well as the Nanaimo Multicultural Society, well, Multicultural Society of Vancouver Island. They'll be putting together a panel. We'll be airing that here on Shaw TV uh, several times. The first airtime I'm going to tell you about is Saturday, February the 14th, Valentine's Day at 9 o'clock, and then again on Tuesday, February the 17th at 4 p.m. You can visit shawtv.ca for more airtimes of a Black History Month panel discussion airing on Shaw TV. Throwing things over now to a completely different slant, Dan Marshall with Rapid Fire. Alexander Reyes is a young musician here in Nanaimo and very involved with the Nanaimo African Heritage Society. He'll be taking part, performing in a couple of the events that celebrate Black History Month here in Nanaimo. We're going to tell you about those later. But first, you're, you come from African descent? Yes, I do, yeah. What, what did you know about your own ancestry growing up? You know, I'm going to be 100% truthful. As growing up, I didn't really know too much about my heritage, so that's what got me involved in these type of organizations. So right now, I'm trying to learn myself as well as becoming a man. Okay. Now, now, why do you think you weren't privy to more information about your own heritage? Was it kept on purpose? Was it just not important? You know, in high school, it's like we didn't learn too much about it. And that's what I was learning in high school growing up. So I took my own initiative to go to Tanzania at the age, um, this year actually. Right. And I went to Tanzania to learn more about myself and my heritage. So uh, that's why I'm here today. And how, how do you feel? How has that changed you? It's made me uh, pretty excited, you know, to get to know yourself more, to get to know your past so you can be your future, so you can learn to be that person. And it's a great uh, feeling. Excellent. So Black History Month is a pretty important month Yeah, it to is. As you. you can see, I'm very excited right yeah. now. <laughs> now, you're also a performer. You've been uh, seen on Channel 4 recently in various capacities. Um, how are you participating as a performer in Black History Month? February 20th, I'm going to be at the Port Theater, and it's going to be a great event. It's going to be a live reggae event with me opening. Okay. As well as February but you're 13th. doing rap, right? You're, are yes. you not doing switching no, not genres? Doing reggae, oh, okay, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not switching it up. <laughs> and then another event on the 13th. Exactly, and you can contact me on my Facebook for that, Alexander Reyes. Okay, excellent. And what is the event on the 13th? Of the live 13th out loud? is Live Out Loud. It's for youth. It's a youth initiative for youth to be uh, involved in the community through volunteering and positive uh, interactives like this. Excellent. Okay, and that is one of the themes of Black History Month here in Nanaimo for 2015, youth and young people connecting with their heritage and young people in the community connecting with other people's heritage. We'll be back with more on Black History Month after we pay a little visit to Legion Number no. 10. That's the one in Harewood. They're hosting a dart championship tournament that's coming up soon. And it got Todd wondering if if darts are actually a real sport. So uh, Todd and Derek head out trying to hit a bullseye.
the South Mid Vancouver Island zone of the Dart Championships for 2015 are being held at Legion Branch Number 10, February 6 and 7. Lots of events taking place over the course of the weekend, banquets and opening ceremonies. Best thing to do is give them a telephone call, 250-753-4442. Now, just a note before we go that when Todd walked away from that shoot, he walked away with an injury. His elbow started swelling up huge. It, check this out. Ooh, it was really actually quite gross and everyone's going around the office trying to touch it and a few people did and a few people didn't. But don't worry, Todd did go to the doctor. He's going to be fine. He felt no pain, just a mild case of bursitis. Black History Month is upon us, continues with lots of events taking place throughout the month of February. The best place to go for information is online, www.nanaimoafricanheritagesociety.com. Thanks for watching Go Island. We'll see you next time. Lakeside Dental Clinic Go Island is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic, a division of the Vancouver Island Implant Centre, delivering dental services, including dental implants and sedation dentistry, all under one roof. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions, Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Maffeo Salon.